God is good all the time. And all the time. God is good. Happy New Year. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah. All from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Our response to the Lord's word is, every every nation on earth will adore you, Lord. Every nation on earth will adore you, Lord. Every nation on earth will adore you. judgment endow the king with your justice endow the king's son with justice he will govern your people your afflicted ones with right judgment every nation on earth will adore you lord every nation on earth will adore Justice shall flower in his days, lasting peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. Every nation on earth will adore you, Lord. Every nation on earth will adore. Rescues the poor when they cry out, the afflicted with no one to help. The lonely and poor he shall pity, the allies of the poor he will save. Every nation on earth will adore you, Lord. Every nation on earth.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem saying, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled in all Jerusalem with him, assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained for them from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasuries and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by a different way. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good and all the time. So at one time during this uh, Feast of Epiphany, uh, some parishioners were having some conversation uh, with their priest. And one woman asked the priest, do you know why God provided the star to the Magi? And the priest was thinking, 
When he confessed his ignorance, the woman said, God knows that men are too proud to ask for directions. <laughs> if there were three wise women instead of three wise men, they would have asked for directions, arrived on time, helped deliver the baby, cleaned the stable, uh, made a casserole, and even uh, provided uh, reasonable gifts, like uh, disposable diapers. <laughs> so uh, we are celebrating the, the Feast of Epiphany, and it's the second day of the new year. And being the second day of the new year, normally it's a time for making choices and making uh, new directions. Looking at the past year, if there are areas you never did so well, so you make a choice to improve this year and to take on some new directions. Also, the Feast of Epiphany is a feast of choice and directions. The Magi have heard of the newborn king and they make a choice to go and pay a visit and even take gifts to this uh, newborn king. They saw the star and it was not uncommon at that time. When, uh, when a king was born, people could go and pay homage. So they see the star and they could interpret that a king has been born. And they made the choice to go and visit this newborn child. They are being led by the star. Now upon arri uh, arriving where Herod was, Herod was nervous of this new king, newborn king. And he tells them, you go, once you have seen where he is, come back and tell me so that I too may go and give homage to this newborn king. But of course we know that was not the case. So the Magi proceed being led by the star. And upon arrival they find the baby Jesus in the arms of Mary. They pay homage. They give their, their treasures gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then thereafter, they also make another choice. After encountering the newborn king, now their allegiance is no longer to the earthly king, Herod. They pay their allegiance to this newborn king, Jesus. And because of that, they take another direction, another path. So they don't go back to Herod. They take another path to go back home. And these kings, we are told, they came from the east. And if you read uh, writings about this feast, the three kings represented all the races because God was manifesting himself to the entire world. So they make another choice of taking a different path. So they were led by the star. They are from the east. They were not from Jerusalem or from the area of Judah. But they recognized the king and they made that choice and they followed the direction to come and meet the newborn king. And the encounter, their encounter with the newborn king made the whole difference. So it is also the same case for us as we celebrate this feast, which is a feast of making choices and also making new uh, directions. Our encounter with the newborn child, newborn king, should also make a difference in our lives. Very soon we are going to, uh, we, we hear uh, 
uh, the, the word of God from the scriptures and then we receive him in the Eucharist. So listening to him in the word of God and receiving him should also imp make an impact in us that we may make also choices and new directions, new path, just like those three wise men. They brought their gifts, the three of them. Gold, very, very precious gift. Frankincense, a symbol of hope. And myrrh, which, which, which was an ointment. You remember uh, when Christ died, he was anointed with myrrh. So those precious gifts. So even, even uh, all of us, as we come for Mass too, as we come to encounter Jesus, we ought to bring our gifts uh, to him. Gifts of gold, frankincense, and, and myrrh. Of our love, our humility, and our adoration. So let our encounter with the newborn king influence our way of doing things and help us make new choices and take on new directions to stay close to Jesus and as we go out there also attract others to, uh, to the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.